All right, be honest. How many of you out there have made it your New Year's resolution to get in shape in 2015? How about last year? And yes, you probably made that same resolution in 2013 as well. Well, our next guest should serve as inspiration because they have each done it. Not only have they kept their resolution, but they've helped many, so many, to do the same and feel and live healthier. Now, Fitness Appeal in Lawrence is a community-based group of people from all ages, backgrounds, and body shapes who come together to inspire one another to get in shape. This morning, we welcome Fitness Appeal co-founder, Victor NG, and of course, one of their Many, many successful stories. Get this, 60-year-old Paul Franklin, <laughs> who looks about 40. Give me the, oh, yeah. yeah, right there, baby. 60 right years there. old, 30 in each arm. Uh, 35 <laughs> pounds lighter when I started. Uh, I was 204, I'm at 168, somewhere around there. And uh, he's done it all for me. Yeah. With the lifestyle, with the working out, with the eating right, with the resting, and just um, taking it all in and making it part of my life. Yeah. Now, when you see that, you, you You've done it to many people. You're out in Lawrence, many people from many backgrounds, many ages. Um, why did you start to do this? Well, I started to do it, I mean, I had my own story. Um, I was overweight. Um, then I, you know, started exercising, started learning about nutrition. And once I learned how to do that, I wanted to help other people. So, you know, Paul came in and, um, you know, I motivated him. Uh, sh showed him how to eat properly, you know, and, you know, he started, he was committed. He came in committed, you know, he worked hard, mm. he did everything I said, and, uh, you know, now he's 35 pounds down. Yeah, but uh, now, I, now, full disclosure, I, I've done the classes. Yeah. Uh, I could only do them once a week for a while, and I want to try to get back to him. Mm. The, the, the best thing about it is you have such a, a good group of people that you, that I've gotten to learn and to meet, and, and I see you guys on Facebook. You've now taken it, you do social things, you do the Spartan races, mm. but you motivate each other. It's, it's amazing, all different ages. Yeah. It becomes a fit family, we call it. And, and what happens is we all become friends, all strangers, come to the gym, work out hard. We have a policy, no one left behind. So if you're the slowest one in the class, we don't let you stay at the end. All the guys at the front or the gals at the front come to the back, motivate you, push you to the front. And we take you out of your comfort zone, but then again, uh, we make you feel part of the whole um, ambiance of the class and the energy, and we give you the confidence. And once you get the confidence, everything else falls in place. Yeah. Now, now you've co-founded it with Tatiana, right? Yeah. Now, she couldn't come, she was feeling a little sick, but I want to take a picture, uh, a look at her before and after, uh, because she's kind of the, the, the role. There, there she is, and I know she's been here uh, last year, and she's an amazing story herself, Victor. Yeah, yeah, she came in and uh, she lost quite a bit of weight on her own, but she had hit a point where she had kind of plateaued and she was looking for something different. So she came in and, you know, we worked, we, we had some fun workouts, we mixed it up with cardio, uh, kettlebells, weight training, and uh, the weight started coming off, you know, and uh, she's, her, her results are amazing, yeah. really amazing. Now, you guys uh, out in Lawrence, you do it at uh, 250 Canal Street. You make it very, very affordable for the community out there. Um, that's another part. I know that you've worked with the mayor of Lawrence uh, directly. Uh, how important is it for you to give, be able to give back to the community? Because these are folks that you see, at, you know, they're, they're in the community, you're in the community as well. Right, right, it, it's very important, it's very important. Uh, we reach out a lot to the community, you know, um, and I think more and more now today, people are becoming more educated about you know, fitness and health, and, and they see us on social media or they see us out, out there running, and, and you know, we it's, it's very inspiring, you know, um, reaching out to the community. Yeah, now really you've done is. some of the, those Spartan races, right, in those competition. Um, those are tough to do, man. Yeah, yeah, they are tough. Um, you have to be prepared mentally and physically, but we're, you know, and sometimes people come in and they feel a little intimidated, you know, about the whole Spartan thing. But once they come into the gym and they see the support and, and the community that we have in there, you know, and the motivation, you know, um, they achieve, you know, some t goals that they never even accomplished. They thought of, like Paul came in, he never thought, he didn't have a plan to do a Spartan race. I kept saying, Victor, you sure I can do this Spartan race? I'm really not comfortable with it. He says, listen, I'll let you know when you're ready. So he said to me, you're ready. So I did my first 5K Spartan race. And it's 3.5 miles plus 25 obstacles. And it's, uh, and there I am right there after my first race. I was so happy. And I, I said, I can do this. Then I went on and I did the super, 
which is nine plus miles and 35 obstacles. And then I got through the super and I felt that much stronger and that much more confident and I'm gonna do the beast and there's a thing called the trifecta which if you do the three races you get a special ribbon and a special medal and I said I'm gonna do it and it was 18 plus miles and it took me nine and a half hours to complete it but I completed it and I finished in the dark and it was an amazing situation. I felt so good about myself and um, all that hard work in the gym, Monday through Friday, Saturday mornings, Sunday afternoons, the running that we do through the woods, you know, to practice for this, it all paid off and I got my award. I got the trifecta, which was amazing. Now, uh, I don't want to belabor the point, but you are 60 mm. and have you ever felt this in shape? I mean, you in shape before or? Well, I was always an athlete, you know, as a kid. You know, I played all the sports, baseball, hockey, basketball, football, three letterman in high school, played college ball. If I was in this kind of shape then, I probably would have made the major leagues. Yeah. But this has gotten me in the best shape of my life, um, not only physically, mentally, spiritually. And, you know, I've gained all these new friends. And uh, From all different backgrounds because, you know. Yeah. I, yeah I've we're, seen... all, we're all united through fitness. I mean, strangers, yeah. complete strangers that might have never, gotten together but because of you know fitness in the community and not only do we do we work out together and we go out and we do events but we also have you know we celebrate together like we just had our Christmas uh, mm. party you know Yankee swap and uh, so it's more than just you know it's like an extension of your family really I can is. attest yeah. to that I, yeah. I, I really you know met some some wonderful people yeah um, well you're in the class yeah I'm in the class once, <laughs> once a week you're swinging I kettlebells aren't you yeah I'm doing the kettlebells yeah. <laughs> the first night you were there I didn't think you were going to make it through I didn't, even, I didn't think so either <laughs> I didn't think so either it was great though yeah and I, I want to definitely go back in 2015 mm. so mm. thank you guys for stopping by hey. Victor keep it up keep up the good work thanks My for man, us. when I get to reach 60 in about 40 years I'm yeah. going to be just like <laughs> <laughs> right there, right Great. there. He All right, got, do the he math. What are you me, <laughs> That's it for this edition of Rishi Pana. Before we say goodbye, a quick reminder to tune in later. I'm going to switch my suit, change up, different guests for Urban Update at 1130 right after Meet the Press. For everyone here at Rishi Pana and Channel 7, have a great Sunday. See you in a little while.